Okay, now that we have everything connected in the bucket and our reservoir and pumps all connected, we have our line lock set up. Now we just need to configure Mach 3. So you want to go up to configure, ports and pins, uh, output signals. We're going to be using output number four. If you remember when we did our electrical enclosure, uh, we wired up our coolant on pin nine. So you just put pin number nine in, in this box. I'm, my uh, particular relay is active low, so make sure you check that. If, if you don't check this and as soon as you power up your control box, the coolant comes on, then you need to check this. Mine's checked active low. Make sure you check enable. We then want to go to spindle setup. We want to make sure that our flood mist control is not disabled. And for M8, I'm using output four. I put output four and M7 as well, just in case some of the G code I run might have an M7 instead of an M8 command. And I put in a delay and I'll probably have to come back and, and mess around with that to get it right. But that's pretty much it. Make sure we apply. And let's power everything up. And then right here, we'll make sure we reset it. And then on coolant, we just turn this on. Actually, let me go to the diagnostic screen so you can see that. Output number four is right here. So when I turn the coolant on, that should activate. And we have success. Now I have to tell you that I'm terrified of the fact that we're using a water-based coolant on all this nice new metal. So if any of you guys have been using this and haven't had any issues, uh, please feel free to comment and give me some reassurance that it's not going to destroy my machine. I'm getting a little splash, I can feel it, but I think overall we're good. So I think that's going to work just fine. Seems to be draining. I can hear it going in the pan. And it appears to be putting out it's about a two foot rise. It appears to be putting out a good flow, so pretty satisfied with that. I can't complain. Uh, wouldn't you know the quick disconnect's not leaking, but it looks like the other is leaking. So, well, it may be actually this line lock. This is a cheap Chinese made line lock. Not sure that uh, they're watertight. Seems to be working pretty good. And then of course when we turn the coolant off, our output stops and our coolant stops. Now let me try turning the coolant on from the media line. So we want to type in M8. We get our output. And the coolant comes on. And M9 should turn it off. And our output's gone. And the coolant's gone. Okay, I don't know if you can see this, but messing around here with the coolant, just kind of giving it a 
go over and make sure everything's okay. I've noticed when the coolant goes down and hits the pan, it splashes up on the motor. Um, not a good deal right there. So, I'm going to have to come up with a way to keep the water away from the motor. So I'll let you know what I come up with. So next we're going to be working on a riser for my quick change tool post. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.